Well, how's it going guys? Dom here with Dom's Vlogs and today every Dom's Vlogs video is going to be on a Wednesday today. Yep, that's right. I am actually going to be posting on a Wednesday here. So it's, uh, it's easy for me to say that I am going to be starting a schedule nowadays. So <clears throat> if you don't know it, it's, in my, it's on my channel. So go check it out. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm actually going to be talking about a very special movie that I think all of you might know that was dated in the year 1984. And that is The Terminator. The Terminator was one of the most biggest franchises ever. Like, literally the biggest. The one thing that actually sets off my opinion on the movie itself was because The Terminator was the best. I mean... I mean, Arnold, I mean, he's not a good actor, but he's pretty decent. And him as the Terminator actually makes it way better. He's, he looks like a robot and it talks like a robot. And very easy to spot in a crowd if necessary. Which is why I wanted to talk about these Terminator movies. All of the Terminator movies. Yep, that's right. I got the Terminator movie set right here. Now... Now we're going. Now the reason why I'm talking about this is that there's going to be a new Terminator movie coming out this year. This year, I don't know what month. I don't know what month. I don't know if it's the summer. I don't know if it's uh, any other date. But I know it's coming out in 2019, and it's actually going to be called The Dark Fate. And we'll get to that when we get to that. But right now, it's time to look at the Terminator franchise, starting with the first one, The Terminator, 1984. So Terminator 1984 starred, well, you guessed it, Arnold Schwarzenegger and some other actors. I forgot that. Actually, wait, I could just pull them out of my phone because thanks to 2019, we actually do got modern tech. And here are all the Terminator movies for you guys. Yeah, it's hard to see. Uh, can I even? Yeah, here, I could zoom it out for you guys. These are all the Terminator movies and the one right there, the last one my, after Genesis is the, uh, the Dark Fate right there. So let's look at the Terminator movie for 1984 so I can give you guys the biggest rundown that I could possibly get. Which, for cast members, we had... So we had Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, Michael Benny, I don't even know if I got that right, Dick Miller, and other people that I don't know about. Mostly we're just going to be talking about basically the ones who played the Terminator, Sarah O'Connor, and also Kyle Reese, which is Michael Ben as Kyle Reese, Linda Hamilton as Sarah O'Connor, and Arnold Schwarzenegger playing the biggest badass Terminator ever, the T-800. So as evident by the storyline, Terminator was very basic. A futuristic computer system by the name of Skynet became self-aware and saying that humankind was not needed. So created a bunch of robotic people known as Terminators to stop us, us human beings. So as evident, Arnold Schwarzenegger plays the T-800 the popular one of the franchise. So as evident, the T-800s are pretty much like us. They have skin like us, they can sweat, they can get old, they can bleed, they can have cuts, they can get bruises, but they're not like us. They're kind of like, let's just say, they use living human tissue to actually act as a, a secondary skin for the Terminator endoskeleton so they don't get exposed. And also uses, like... Pretty cool technology, so to speak, on the Terminators. They produce some good strength. They can do a lot of different things with modern weapons. And I mean modern weapons. And they and they kick ass for that. The coolest thing about the uh, the Terminator is that he can he can be so self-aware. He can he could do a lot of different things. I mean, these movie reviews don't lie on how good it is. I mean, Empire calls it as chillingly efficient. <laughs> and co wow, sci-fi and spec uh, with a sci-fi spectacle. It, it, that's how much a lot a lot of people love the Terminator. It's pretty good. Excuse me, I was just looking at one who didn't like the Terminator. Hello, Mister Miss Naomi. Okay, I actually like the movie itself. The first movie I don't think holds accountable to the other to the to the the sequel, which we will get to, but it's a really good movie to have the sci-fi chills. 
Also, it's a very funny movie to look at. I mean, come on. It's it's pretty much a funny movie when Arnold just says, Fuck you, asshole. To the to the I think it was the janitor. I'm not sure. But good god, I'm giving this the I'm giving this video a thumbs up. Now, let's look at the other one. Let's look at the other one here. Oh, I forgot to also mention the plot of the movie. So, the Terminator, the T-800, was supposed to kill anybody by the name of Sarah O'Connor, so that the real Sarah O'Connor would never exist in the future. Yeah, definitely is pretty much a sci-fi killer genre. So the next one we have is Terminator 2, Judgment Day, 1991. So as evident, this one is plot is the, is the same, but a little bit differently with a new crazy twist, so to speak. Terminator 2 Judgment Day starred Arnold... Well, actually, let me get to the cast then, again. Um, so we have basically all the exact same type people here, except we have new people that sparred in new types of stuff. So we have Arnold again as the Terminator. We also have Linda Hamilton as Sarah O'Connor. But we also have Edward Furlong as John O'Connor, the son of Sarah O'Connor. And we also have Robert Patrick, who's probably as the best Terminator. I call him the best Terminator out of the bunch, uh, well, second best, the T-1000. Robert Patrick plays the T-1000, and some other ones that we will, like, you know, not get to. So, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. This is a Judgment Day-based thing. So, as evident, John O'Connor is with foster home, um, foster family, as, as basically Sarah O'Connor is in a mental institution because people thought he was she was an actual loopy saying that there was actually a robot trying to kill her. So as evident, there was a model called the T-850 Terminator that actually went back to the, to the past of 1991 so that it would prevent John Connor from dying. Who, 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 brought, who brought him in there? None other than John O'Connor himself, the older version. So as evident, Sarah O'Connor is basically planning escapes, but yet failed it due to her mental state, but also physical state. If I can put, put that out there. So T-1000, played by the really good legendary Robert Patrick, has um, basically a few upgrades as being a liquid metal terminator that can eliminate pl people just like that. Also disguising itself as a police officer, and also having emotion, unlike T-800. The T-800 had no emotions, so it doesn't think on its own, so they can go rogue. But with the T-1000, they have emotions, and they can also mimic people also while trying to act just like them. So it is pretty much the biggest FBI agent you would possibly get. You know, if they were used as FBI agents. Problem was with these T-1000s that they, they were prototypes. So any contact with heat or the cold can actually um, either melt or freeze the T-1000. But with the proper temperatures, they can, it can actually come back to normal. Except if you actually drain this whole damn thing in steel. I actually like the T-1000's effects. They use regular stock effects sometimes, but when they went to the CGI models, that would hit the mark. Now, movies of the modern era, and I'm talking about Hollywood. Do you see how Terminator 2 beats all your movies in the ass? It used CGI perfectly, and that's how it was done. It was done perfectly, and it was done for a reason. Plus, it wasn't much focus on that. It was more focused on the characters. As evident too by the, T, by the T850, John O'Connor, the younger version, tries to teach him a couple of things like smiling, some couple of human emotions, but also teaches him how to kind of not kill anybody. As evident in the movie where Arnold shoots the legs of people so they don't die. Yeah, um, T850, you kind of know that we bleed out you don't. As evident, it also had a backup. As far as I know, the Terminators from the old Terminators had like some type of backup system where they can get back up and running again, which was pretty neat. It's like an emergency, uh, emergency power up, so to speak. Kind of like most of us have emergency powers, uh, power switches for our lights and stuff here. That's kind of like how the Terminator is. 
As evident, it was a pretty nice movie, yet very awesome as well. It was also the best sequel. In my opinion, the best sequel out of all the Terminators I've seen to this date. And that kind of like what leads it to being the best sequel. So, let's go up to the third installment, which is more comedy than a thriller. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. This one is way different. Let's go to the cast first, so that we can, like, you know, get everything settled here. So, as evident, let's see what we got here. Okay... All right, so let's look at the top ones. So we have Arnold again as the Terminator again as usual, but then we have Christina Loken. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. <laughs> I'm not very good at pronouncing. Surprises her role as the TX, or as most people, including John O'Connor in this movie, would call the Terminatrix. And we also have somebody by the name of Nick Staley? Stahl? I'll just call him Nick Stahl, who reprises his role as John O'Connor. So Terminator 3, uh, Rise of the Machines, is another simple one, except it has a very high, very different Terminator than the last couple. So as evident, this Terminator is a Lady Terminator that has the same effects as the, ter as the T-1000 with the liquid metal. The only difference is that she can't use that to turn into knives or any other type of materials. It can only regenerate itself and also try to protect the endoskeleton of the TX. But it also can has some weapons up to its advantage, like an, like a uh, I think it was a plasma cannon, um, as well as a I think some type of stinky antenna that comes out of her finger that actually hacks into multiple types of technology, like cars and computers. It also has a some type of a saw, um, a flamethrower, and also has what we I call a DNA um, searcher, I would call that. She basically just takes a sample of blood on her finger, or if it's on a napkin recently, licks it. Yeah, literally, she licks it. She literally licks the, the blood. Uh, I'm feeling that's kind of weird. But that's how she does it, and that's how she figures out if there's any type of DNA that she needs to terminate, like John O'Connor and the other people in the film. As evident, this thing was after some, some of John O'Connor's um, people that were part of the Resistance. As evident, this Terminator is not as good as the other Terminators. But I wouldn't call her the worst. Yes, she is a diva, kind of like Terminator, but they kind of play it well with her as a Terminator here. I mean, she plays it pretty well like she's trying to be this, like, seductive uh, woman on a car that's in a red uniform and this blonde hair, you know, uh, but it's not my type of cup of tea. The best thing that makes it so good about this film is the action in this one. I mean, Arnold just taking a hook of an axe, grabbing the neck of the TX, and pulling it out of the truck was kind of like the best thing about it. The other cool thing about this one is that the, the kind of like destruction of the city, the cars, everything is just, Jesus. Don't these Terminators ever know that if they were going to rule society, weren't they ever going to use these buildings for something? That's just insane. The cool thing also is that these Terminator, the Terminator TX has so much of a seductive voice that it kind of like, kind of like questions people. Like they're saying, what are you talking about? As evident, I mean, this is like not the best Terminator, but at least is, it's up that kind of rank, so to speak. It's, it's not good, but it's not bad. I mean, this movie doesn't hit, like, like action, thriller, sci-fi levels. It went through sci-fi comedy. And I've seen... I've seen My Life as a Teenage Robot, and that's kind of like my, my interpretation of an animated sci-fi comedy. But Terminator uh, Rise of the Machines, I don't call the worst out of all of them. However, we're going to get to that one right now. 
Here we have Terminator Salvation, which was made in 2009. Yes, the year Doris came out. So let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at the cast. Again, we do have Arnold Schwarzenegger, but she, but he's not been in there yet. So we have John O'Connor, which has Christian Bale. Yeah, Christian ba Wait, do I even remember something from Christian Bale? Eh. Sam Washington playing the role as Marcus Wright. Um, Moon Bloodgood. No comment. As Blair Williams, which was the pilot that crashed down on there and helped uh, Marcus get to John O'Connor. Anton Yeekchin, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing these names, uh, plays Kyle Reese. Um, some other people uh, that played other people. And then, and then we, we also did have Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he was... Actually, no, Brian Steele played the T-600 uh, suit performer. But even I know that Arnold was, was in this. I mean, come on, he was in the movie. This, this cast thing is like bullshit to me. Yeah, so remember when I said that Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, is not the worst out of them? No, it's this one. I just don't know why. I mean, it, it's got some good action, but the characters are bland. It, it didn't hit the park for me, and it went to Mad Max. I get that it was supposed to be... Like when the bombs fell and everything is in a post-apocalyptic area, but be honest, I know this was 2009, but I have to say this right now to these people who made this, made this, made this film. Have you seen Gerard Crowley in Black Ops Three? Explosions, explosions. No wait, have you seen World War Two? Of uh, what was that? What was that war called? Uh. Uh, War Stalingrad. Have you seen that one? Because that, if you've seen the buildings of Stalingrad or what's left of Germany, you would see how apocalyptic it looked. I mean, it still had concrete floors and stuff. Everything doesn't have to be all dusty. I can understand the bones and the skeletons, but dust? Are you kidding me? That's whatever, though. Because we also had the rise of the T-600s, which were the first of the Terminators. They had, and I hate to say this word because using that one type word that what type of costume they're wearing kind of scares me a bit. It's called plexi latex masks, which are kind of like human masks, so to speak, except they are, how do I say this? Not as, um, not as much good as the uh, actual real skin of a human being on a, on a Terminator's endoskeleton. But these Terminators at least handled, they were 800 pounds, they were, they were at least movable, they were pretty scary as well. They had like a pretty good skull mounted on them, they can handle machine guns and pretty much an explosive like new tube launcher, which was crazy. They were mostly just the regular army, the T-600s. That's why the T-800s went way better compared to them. Which most, which was reasons why, because the masks themselves were just plastic, rubber masks. They were not like actual real skin. So they, so it's kind of like getting a Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, or Obama mask. They're not going to look just like the person that you would see in real life. They're just going to look a little bit different. I mean, they'll look like an actual human being in a far distance, but close up to a person, you can tell they don't look as good. But as evident, it really did hit the ballpark for a good storyline, and it did a pretty good job of it. But it was not very good for me, and I never found it to be the best. Hell, it's got 33% on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, this is the weakest of all of them. It, it, it didn't hold my ballpark, and although I still prefer it, it's not the type I would enjoy. Alright, well, we went through... How do I put this? A lot of different... I mean, how do I put this here? We went through a lot of Terminator movies, but now we're going to get to the nitty-gritty that everybody seems to hate. And I can see why, but I can also see maybe you're going a little too far. Here we go. Terminator Genesis 2015. 
So, cast members. So we have Arnold back as the actual Terminator. We have M Amelia Clark as Sarah O'Connor. Jai Courtney as Kyle Reese. Uh, Jason Clark as John O'Connor, as well as the T-3000. Matt Smith as the T-5000. T-5000. I'm going to have to look at that. T-5000. Uh, Lee Bung Byung Hun. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that as the T-1000. Um, and then and then Brett Hayes as another Terminator. So, as you can see for me, I've never found this horrible. I I kind of have a soft spot for this uh this uh this movie. It's not the best movie, I'll give it that. But it gives me my likes. It actually gives me the likes. Because I don't think it's not as bad as Salvation. With this one, it had a premise that couldn't have worked. The reason why is that it focused a lot on the other two Terminators dying way too quickly. Although there was pretty nice action scenes there, and it's nice to see two Arnolds fighting. Like, that's really cool. A young Arnold and then an old Arnold just fighting each other. That was really cool. But them dying very quickly did not go very well. The plot could have worked, but not as well. And as evident is the actual T-3000 is the problem of the movie. It's a good premise. I do kind of like the design. I do like the reason behind it. But it's way too strong. It doesn't have much of a weakness. The weakness is a magnetic field. But that's not enough of a weakness. That's just stopping it. It's not killing it. With the other Terminators, they had weaknesses. The T-1000. With the heat and the... Uh, the, uh, the cold. It could stop them very quickly. The T-800. At least... Is still a robot. It could still die. The T... X, you just have to take away that liquid metal and she's dead. And salvation with the other ter with the other terminators at least did something. But this 3000 didn't hold a good ballpark. It was a cool concept, but did not held its own. That's why I call it my least favorite terminator out of something that's a pretty decent movie. But it didn't hold a good idea, and it didn't hold a good reputation for Terminator itself. On top of calling Skynet Genesis, it's it's not a very decent movie. As evident, Sarah O'Connor actually was basically a, like, a, like a daughter of the Terminator. No, she's not a Terminator, thank God. But she's... How do we say? She was raised by the Terminator. Um, it was a pretty nice idea, and I do kind of like the idea, I do like the jokes, and I do like the idea of Arnold being an old Terminator. That is actually a pretty neat idea. It means that he's not obsolete, he's just old. Skin, like actual human skin, can get very old. So, that's what I would expect. It's not a good movie, it's... It certainly wouldn't have held the ballpark of any other movie I've seen yet. But it's not the worst adaptation of this movie. It's not the worst. I have to call Salvation the worst. But this is not the worst. I just couldn't, I just couldn't hold the ballpark. I mean, I hold these in the bottom of my heart in saying that they are pretty good movies. Now, how do I rank these? Well, I'm certainly going to have to go with Terminator 2 Judgment Day for at least having the best effects, the best of characters, and the best of storyline, and being the best sequel. I'm um, going to have to go with the original Terminator. Again, didn't hold the most ballpark, but at least was a really good movie. Then Terminator 3 goes in third place. Comedy based, which makes it stand alone, is pretty much a pretty good Terminator movie. Genesis is going to be on my fourth. It's not good, but it's not terrible. 
salvation I have to put last. It's not good for me, and I don't really prefer good for you. Which leads us to talking about dark fate. What do I expect from dark fate? Well, as evident, if I have to go through this on my phone, let's see. Cast members. We have Arnold back as the Terminator. We have Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor. Who else is there? We have another Terminator by Gabriel, Gabriel Luna as one of the other Terminators. Brett Hazar is another Terminator. Jude Coley as John O'Connor. So we are actually, and also, I think, yeah, Mexican City Cop. Yep. So we're going to be having at least two of the original people from the first two Terminator movies. And it's kind of like going to be like Halloween 2018 where it's not going to be focusing directly on the uh, the the kind of like premise of the other sequels. It's going to tell its own. So, how do I expect this to go? I expect it to be great. I want to expect it to be great. Only time will tell and Hollywood should fucking listen. You have done... Terminator 1, 2 have done so well by themselves and together as great Terminator movies. Terminator 3, not good but not bad either, but it's a good comedy one at best. And it stands alone on its own pretty good. Terminator 4, and I can't, I can't accept it to anybody. I'm sorry. If anybody you like it, it's good for you. It's my opinion. Terminator Genesis... It was poorly praised by the box. The box office did not like it. 26% on Rotten Tomatoes, but I still don't call it the worst. But it's still not as good as the other Terminator movies. You have to do better, Hollywood. You cannot do this type of crap that we critics do not like. So, as evident, I hope that this is going to be a really good Terminator movie and I don't have to go crazy. Because that shouldn't even be my job. And let's hope Arnold comes back on this one. And let's hope he doesn't die quickly, because that's the worst part. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like if you can. Be sure to subscribe for new content every Wednesday now. Um, and don't forget... Don't forget to also uh, click down below. Should I, like, talk about, like, oh, I don't know, another franchise that at least I know about? If there's any franchise that you want me to talk about, put it in the comments below, and I'll, I'll talk about it in a future video. As always, stay scary, and I'll see you next time.